Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So it's October in Minnesota and you can see the leaves are changing. It's just a beautiful time of year. And I'm typically done with kind of my butterfly videos this time of year, but today I stumbled across something really cool in my garden. I planted some rue. Maybe you saw my video earlier in the year on how to attract um, the giant swallowtail butterfly to your garden by planting rue, it's its host plant. But today I found 10 caterpillars, not from the giant swallowtail, but they're the black swallowtail. And again, they're in their first and second and third instars of their development. So I'm really excited to show you those caterpillars and they're fighting time right now. I think their goal is to get these caterpillars big enough to get into a chrysalis state so they can overwinter and come in as a butterfly next spring. So. They've got about three or four weeks it typically takes as a caterpillar for a black swallowtail. So they still probably got a couple weeks to go. And we're expecting freezing weather in Minnesota here over the next couple weeks. So hopefully these caterpillars can survive. But I wanna show you some of these pictures of these young black swallowtail butterflies. So here's my two rue plants, R-U-E, rue. So I planted them for the giant swallowtail, but I've got caterpillars for the black swallowtail. It's right next to my parsley, which I was hoping to get black swallowtail caterpillars here, but they ended up over on the rue. So let's zoom in and get a little closer and take a look at some of these caterpillars. You can see these black swallowtail caterpillars on my rue. I think it's a little breezy out today. Hold on. But I think I've counted over, I think I've got about eight to 10 on this plant and a few on my other one, so. All right, so you've seen the black swallowtail caterpillars as they're early in their development, second, third in stars. But I also am gonna share with you some black swallowtail caterpillar pictures I got from last summer when they're close to being done and before they become chrysalis. They're so beautiful. They look a little bit like monarch caterpillars, but they're definitely the black swallowtail butterfly caterpillars. So uh, here's some shots of those. Here's one, you can maybe see another one behind it, curled up, and there's another smaller one out here. So three black swallowtails have found their way to dill and hopefully we'll turn into black swallowtail butterflies soon. So these New England asters, you have to wait all year for them to bloom, but finally in October, mine's are, mine are in full bloom. 
They're pretty spectacular when they bloom and it leaves a little left for the pollinating flowers for the remaining butterflies that are around. Not a lot of butterflies around. And then I've got this lavender that's bloomed a few times over the summer. But that's about all I have for pollinating flowers. I still have a few zinnias that are in bloom. But I don't know if these black swallowtails will make it to that stage. They'll probably overwinter in their chrysalis state and hopefully be back in the spring. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed looking at these little tiny black swallowtail caterpillars in October, trying to work their way through their life cycle to try to get to the stage where they can become a chrysalis and overwinter and come out as a butterfly next spring. So the clock is ticking before things freeze up here and um, I'm hoping these caterpillars can make it. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out on a beautiful day in Minnesota in the month of October. Have a great day.